everybody and welcome back to Teens, Tweens, and In-Betweens. Today we are going to be doing a very fun experiment slash very basic tutorial on how to paint with a palette knife, but very casually. We're not here to be the next big artist. Um, we're just kind of going to be playing around. And the reason why we're doing this video is actually to see how to use a palette knife because you can also use, it's very hard to see here, but you can also use a plastic knife. Now you cannot use a metal knife. The big difference between this and a metal knife is this is very flexible. Um, again, I'm not sure how well you can see, but palette knives, specifically the one I like to use, which is gonna be like this one, or this one, this nice long one, is very flexible. It's not super flexible. Um, I would honestly put the plastic knife on par with this one right here. This is a number three that I got in a set from Packet Hands last year, or this way. Um, and the other thing that you can use is a spoon. <laughs> I've actually seen numerous tutorials now using a plastic spoon as a palette knife. And so we're gonna be doing that today. I've got my, my canvas here. This is a US Art Supply Liberty Series quality canvas panel. This I think is called a canvas board. This one is very small, I think it's six by six, six by six. Very easy. Um, we use these a lot for our paint and sip programs because they're pretty easy to get a hold of and they're also relatively inexpensive. I also like the panels or the flat ones versus the other kind, the ones that are wood, wooden framed and super nice and stretched. I just prefer working on a harder surface. So we're gonna be using that today. Uh, now normally you would want to do something like a layer of gesso on top. However, we're going simple here. We're not going crazy. We again, the whole theme behind a lot of these videos is working with stuff that you might have already in your house. I know for me, <laughs> I grew up in a household where my mom had a million colors of acrylic paint all the time. Um, her biggest hobby was pretty much working on dollhouses and that required a lot of paint and you know Sometimes she'd buy a color of paint and use it for one project and never use it again So I'm sure I know she's watching this video. Hi mom <laughs> uh, She definitely recalls me stealing her paints um, Sometimes she'd get them back and sometimes they would disappear, but today we've got a couple of different colors um, we've got the Anita's all-purpose acrylic from Hobby Lobby craft paint um, this is in a nice purple color. We also have an acrylic paint by, by Sergeant Art. This is a black. We've got another one of those in, oh sorry, this one is True Flow Acrylic. So this is actually Flow Acrylic, but again, it'll be fine. We're not going fancy here. Um, these would be typically used for more like acrylic pouring. If I remember correctly, I got all of these at Pack of Tans when they were closing, so it's probably just a pretty big array, except this one from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> we have this lovely one here. This is the same brand as the purple and a pink color. And last but not least, we have a red. What we're going for today is an abstract piece. We're not going for anything very specific because we're just kind of going to roll with it. I wanna show you guys the different textures and things you can do. And we're actually gonna try and use our knife for the majority of this. So we've got our plastic knife, and the first thing we obviously need to do is get ourselves some paint. Make sure you shake your paints up nice and good. Ugh, paint gross, crispies. We don't need a lot here because we are only doing a six by six. I know I have a tendency to get myself way too much paint. <laughs> my brother was always really good at that. I'm sure, I know my mom's watching this, I'm sure that she is going to recall my brother's inability to get the correct amount of paint. And then we're gonna put our blacks and whites way over here. Because I don't want to get those two mixed in. I have shaken these already, but I don't know. I feel like I always shake them before I pour them anyway. Now the white is a poor acrylic, so it is going to be thinned out. Though I don't think you guys can see it. I can definitely see it. Oh, that's a nice red. Okay, so we've got our paint palette. We're just gonna put it up here. Um, actually, let's put it, I want you guys to be able to see it. So I'll paint like this. Does that work? That's fine. All right, so 
The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna scoop with my spoon some of the black. I should have just poured it on. And see, the thing with the palette knife and also with the spoon, though the spoon you can do a lot of texturing with, is that it makes it like, I don't know, it makes it really kind of fun to blend in. Rather than a paintbrush where it's very smooth, I feel that a palette knife, and this plastic knife actually is giving me the exact same feel, the palette knife and the plastic knife just give a really cool texture. When you're painting with a brush, you can end up with brush strokes, um, you can end up with all sorts of things. Oh, I needed a glass of water. You know what? No, we're just gonna run with it actually, because I think that'll be really cool. So we're gonna take our purple next, and again, I'm just scooping it and pouring it on, and you're gonna see some color bleed, and that's okay. I really like the color bleed. I think it makes it again, because we're going for abstract. Now, one cool thing you can see here is when I pick up the knife and I move it, I'm able to do some really cool texturing. So I'll bring it up to the camera. You see the texture? So we can do almost like waves. It's very nice. I do want some more purple purple at the top here. Oops, we totally spilled, but that's okay because we're on a paper bag. <laughs> there. That's really cool. So you can actually see with this, I'm not sure why. Oh, it's forming cells. Can you guys see that? Like right here specifically in this area, it's creating cells. We're not going to touch that anymore because that's very fun. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to move up. We're going to move up to our red. It's really weird for me to do like a darker concept. <laughs> I just kind of grabbed whatever we have the most paint of. Yeah, that's cool. That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna go rinse this off and then we're gonna use the pink and the white. Rinse both of these off actually. So let's pick this up and see do we have any more cells? <gasps> Guys, this looks so cool. I think it's because they're different types of, of acrylic. It's almost like the red looks like it's floating compared to the black and the purple. So now it's gonna be the really cool part because we're gonna transition from the very dark colors into the lights. We're gonna be doing that using the red as our base. I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of this pink. And honestly, guys, I would recommend if you do this, that you just go ahead and pour it on <laughs> or squeeze it on. I think it'll be easier. I'm gonna get some of the white now too. Start mixing that in. And again, we're gonna use the knife to kind of blend it. We're going to kind of push it together. With a brush, you don't really have this option. <laughs> Your options are really to just blend it in, kind of mix it in together. Yeah, that red is really just kind of like sitting. Now with a palette knife, you can just use it in one direction or you can flip it over like we're about to do here and blend in our lighter. Actually, I'm gonna use my spoon now. And again, we want that texture. Now this is going to take quite a long time to dry because it is thick. When you're doing painting like this, it is definitely gonna be on the thicker side because it's got that really neat texture. And now what I'm gonna show you is the thing that I'm most excited to talk about, which is the texture with the spoon. So we're gonna get our spoon all nice and wet. And then we're 
going to go down here. We're going to tap it. And what we're doing here is we're actually making flower petals. So you want to be pushing that paint outwards. So you can see I'm rocking the spoon out. This is going to be super sloppy because <laughs> I actually need a little bit more paint. you guys the texture so we're actually not really getting a flower here but that's okay because the idea isn't to really show you again I only have a couple of paint colors here it'd be better with like a bright yellow but we're going abstract and you can see pushing out there mm, that's a little bit better pushing out is making another different texture and actually there's all kinds happening in this painting. There's so much going on with the texture. It's so pretty. And honestly, I've done a number of acrylic pours and it looks like an acrylic pour. Like that's how these colors are blending, but the, it shouldn't be an acrylic pour texture because we uh, didn't put, we only have one actual flow acrylic. All right, we're gonna blend that back down in. Actually, let's keep bringing this down. I'm gonna blend it even into that dark purple. There we go, that's it. And here's the thing. So I don't like this flower, right? So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna blend it out. That's the thing that I love about painting is that you can make imperfections and you can just get rid of them. <laughs> So again, I'm flipping my palette knife over to get more of that lighter color than I had earlier. And then we're pushing it down. Now I'm very obsessive compulsive, so I like to go through and kind of press in a line, scrape it down in a line. And if I see a big glob of paint, I will try and spread that out a little bit more. I don't like that that dark spot is there. So we just erase it. And that's it. It's very simple. Now, again, you can do this with a palette knife. Um, you can also use this palette knife right here to do petals. This in my set is the number two. It's very round. The only thing is it's very stiff. Unlike a um, plastic spoon, of course, it's gonna have a little bit more give to it because of the handle, but this one's not, not so much. <laughs> Again, for making flowers, using one of those, you can do that. If you want to do smaller petals, you can use just the tip of a palette knife. So you can see these guys. Yeah, let's, let me put my hand over. You can see them. They have a pretty nice tip too for a flower petal. And you can get real fancy. I'm not going to do it on my painting because it'll mess it up now. But you can use the side of the palette knife to do trees and all sorts of things. And if you guys are fans of Bob Ross, I know I'm a fan of Bob Ross. I grew up <laughs> watching a lot of Bob Ross. I'm a fan of Bob Ross. I definitely have been more into him in the last couple years than I have in the past, even though I was born in the 90s. We didn't really do Bob Ross. <laughs> but if you watch his tutorials, he teaches you how to use the palette knife to do all sorts of things. This is just to kind of give you a feel for if this might be something you want to have. Um, the spoon and the knife are a really great way to kind of get that feeling of do I want to paint with texture? Do I want to paint more so with pushing the paint, so to speak, over brushing it in and smoothing it out? Or is that not really for me? So if you do want to try palette knives, I would recommend this. You can also use a fork for a really good texture as well. I, again, personally prefer this right here. I think this looks really cool. And I think it's going to look awesome dry. I don't know how much the camera is doing it justice, but like, oh, what I wanna do with this piece is, after it dries, which is probably gonna take a while because some of the paint's pretty thick, <laughs> I'd like to do a silhouette, some sort of like black tree or something right here 
where the roots start here and then they go up to here to make a really cool tree. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you want me to add and maybe I will do it and post a picture on social media for you. But if you guys enjoyed this, do give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Turn on your post bell notifications and leave us a comment down below or on our Facebook. And we will see you guys very soon. Have an awesome weekend. Bye guys.